Hello you lovely YouTubing people. Uh, one of the questions I get asked quite often about Venus fly traps is uh, the tra about the trapping mechanism. What sets them off? What makes them tick? Well, you see each trap has six trigger hairs. There's three on each side. And when one trigger hair is touched, it sets off a 30 second countdown timer. And if the same trigger hair or another trigger hair is touched within that 30 seconds, the trap closes. Here's a little demonstration. So that's one touch, obviously. Leave it for a few seconds. Same hair again. And snap shut. It's also worth noting that the trap doesn't close completely, as you can see by having little holes there. The reason for that is to give small insects a chance to escape because in that way it doesn't have to go through the entire uh, digestive process and use up all the energy on that if the meal it's trapped is simply not worth it due to its small size. So uh, a few weeks ago I started selling some of these plants to some people and uh, there was a couple of things they mentioned that I know and I take for granted but I hadn't considered that other people didn't know so I figured I'd let you in on it as well. These particular traps, or any Venus fly trap, they all come out from the centre. Some people that I've sold the traps, the plants to, thought that the traps that were already there will stay there forever and simply get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. When actually, as you can see, you get traps coming out from the centre all the time to replace the uh, traps that were already there. Another thing that some people didn't know was that these plants flower quite nice flowers too actually and uh, yeah a lot of my plants are currently flowering as you can see and I hope to collect the uh, pollen from these plants sort of mix mix, uh, mix the pollen from one flower to another in the hope that they produce plenty of seeds so that's a plan anyway